Welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Kim Wilcox from It's Also Yummy Cafe, and she has a twist on the grilled cheese. It's an Italian twist. It is an Italian Yum. twist. Yum. How are you this afternoon? Good. How are you doing? Good. You're always coming up with like the best creations. Well, we always have a grilled cheese of the month. Yeah. So this this month we've done a little Italian thing with the Italian antipasto grilled cheese. Okay. Okay. So I have started my salami over here. Mm -hmm. You could use salami or pepperoni. Okay. Anything that you would find on a normal tray. Okay. So I've got the salami browning up a little bit. Make sure your griddle is super, super hot. You need it to be at 350. Is it better to do it on a griddle versus a pan? It, or? It's just how I do it, okay. and that's how we do it at the cafe, okay. is on a big griddle. You can do it in a pan. I've done it at home before in a cast iron pan, mm -hmm. but I didn't like the way it turned out as okay. well. But that's just me. Preference, okay. Yes, okay, so bread down. I'm gonna put some provolone on here. Mm, we want this to get, provolone. oh, I do too, and it melts so nice on this okay now these are almost done so i'm going to put my salami you just do that for like a few seconds on, on each side the salami yeah. i i did these till they got a little brown around okay. the edges All right. okay now i'm going to slide this bread down into a little bit of that grease from the salami okay even though i buttered it it's going to give it a little extra flavor on the outside okay to do that okay and then I'm going to add to this really fairly easy to make. I've put together a little antipasto salad that we're going to put on there. So we've used banana peppers, mm -hmm. artichokes, um, red peppers, and we were using some black olives. Yum, okay. So you could add more or less to this if you want and to. It, are these canned? Are they fresh? Ingredients? I have used, I use canned. They're okay. already, everything is already all pickled. Okay. And we're just going to make sure I get make sure you get stuff to the edges. I'm okay. a stickler about stuff being to the edges. Because you hate to bite into it. Oh, and like I, you get a mouthful of bread. I hate it when I get to the <laughs> edge know. of a sandwich and there's nothing. So my staff will tell you I preach at the cafe. Okay. Make sure everything Spread goes to the edge. Okay. Okay. So we're going to let this heat. You want your cheese to melt a little bit and you want your bread to get nice and brown mm -hmm. like that one is right there. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over. And you don't and you, you make don't, that look so easy. You don't want to hurry this process because okay. you want everything to get nice and melty and nice and brown. Now while that's doing that, anything going on at the cafe? Well, this is big right now. We're also doing a BLT hot dog right now. Ooh, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. That's a big deal. That's always a big deal. And it's getting close to fall, so we'll be introducing all of our new fall soups. Okay, great. Before too long. So So now once this is done, once we, this you is have done, it topped off with some good stuff. Yeah, then I'm gonna garnish it with some feta cheese and some crushed red pepper. Okay. If you don't want the feta to fall off, if you do it right when it's warm, it'll stick to your sandwich better. Okay. But you can also put it on the inside if you would like. Okay. So awesome. that's what we've done, and Perfect. this will be here for the whole month. All right, and we will have this recipe up on our website at WBIR.com. Good to see you, Kim. You too. Thank you. All right, still to come, the next time you go golfing, you may not find the beverage.